In this video, we're going to take a look at giving our images more impact using color, and we're going to be recording it as an action. Okay, let's make a start. We're going to come over to the actions panel. Now, if yours isn't already open, you'll find it under window. There it is at the top, click on actions, and that'll open it for you. Next, we're going to come down to this icon here. This is to create a new action. When you click on this, we've got the new action dialog box. This is where we can give the action a name. Now I'm going to call this one color boost. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swipe across and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose copy because we'll be using this later on. Right, where are we going to store this action? Where it says set, now sets are the folders where we can store it and I'm going to go down to color. So I'm going to put mine in my color set. I'm going to click on record. The little red light is on. You'll notice there it is color and color boost is being added into this set. Everything we're now doing is being recorded. So we're going to come back over to the layers panel. I'm going to put in a new empty layer. It doesn't matter if you've got other layers in the layer stack or if you've just got a background layer, do exactly the same. Put in a new empty layer. We're going to rename this layer. So I've just double clicked and I'm going to use command V, control V to quickly paste in that color boost. Right, let's stamp these layers into this new empty layer. We can do that by pressing and holding down the Alt or the Option key. So press and hold down Alt or Option, go to Layer. You can go down to Merge Visible. That has now stamped all of these into this new empty layer. We're now going to convert this to a smart object. And we can do that by bringing our cursor anywhere over this area here. If you right click, you get a flyout menu. We're going to go down to Convert to Smart Object. Now that this is a smart object, the beauty of this is we can double click that opens up a new tab. You can see it's showing it being colorboost.psb. Color boost over here in brackets and it's RGB. Now we're going to convert this to LAB color. We can do that by going to image. We can go down to mode and we can come across to LAB color. You'll see it's now changed to LAB. Right over onto the layers panel, I'm going to come down to the new fill or an adjustment icon, this one here, and I'm going to select curves. Now just to make it a bit easier to see, I'm going to click, we're going to drag it out onto the work surface like this. You'll notice I've got a tighter grid pattern by coming up to this and icon and we can come down to curves display option. Now it's these buttons here. If I just click on this one, you can see that's the default. This is probably the way yours might be looking. You've got these larger squares. You need to click on this one. So you've got that tighter pattern. Now I'm going to click on OK. Right, let's come up to where it says lightness. Click on it. This reveals the A channel and the B channel. We're going to start off on the A channel. I'm going to click down. I'm going to move this in to the second line in. We're going to come across to the bottom, moving it across again to the second line in. Let's come up and change it to the B channel. We're now going to repeat that process, taking it to the second line in like that and moving this one across to the second line in like this, that will do nicely. Right, I'm now going to just reset my workspace to pop my panel back in out of the way. Okay, let's come up to File. We're now going to click Save. This is going to update it over here on our master document. We're now going to come back to our actions and I'm going to click on this icon which has now stopped the action. So let's take a look. I'm just going to come up. I'm going to close this one down. If we come over to our layers panel, you can see there's our color boost layer. I'm just going to press delete to get rid of it for a second. OK, let's come to the actions. Let's come to color boost. Let's click on play and uh, very quickly. There it is. Job done. Now what we can do if I just close this down is with a smart object. If you double click, that brings it back. We're now working on this with the curves. We can come up to the opacity. We can just reduce the opacity to blend it in to perhaps something like this area here. Just switch it on and off and you can see the difference that's making to the image. Just taking it up a little bit more into this area here will do nicely. Let's just take a look there. Right, 42%. We're going to leave it like this. So we need to come back over to File. We can now come down to Save. That's going to update it in our master document. Job done. Right, let's just close that down. Just going to use Command Z, Control Z. That's what we had before. And you can see it's just a little bit more subtle. But if I just switch this on and off, you can still see that richer tones and colors that we've added to the picture. 
Let's just take this a stage further. I'm just going to close this document down and come to this one here. Now, the colors here are a little bit lackluster. I'm just going to select this layer. This is going to be the top layer. I'm going to come to our action. I'm going to play our color boost. That's going to shoot through. It's going to take a little bit longer. This is a larger document. Right, let's come over to our color boost tab here. Now, if I just switch this on and off, you can see the difference that's made to the image. A little bit bright in some of these areas. But uh, yeah, we can make a few changes. We could do as we did before. We could reduce the opacity down. That might work. But in doing that, we're losing some of the detail from the sky here. I'm going to leave this back on the 100%. Right, how about changing the blend mode? Let's try multiply. That's going to darken it down. We can now come to the opacity. I'm going to drop the opacity down into this area here looks pretty good. Still looking a little bit bright in some of the colors here. I'm going to click on the mask. I'm going to pick up the paintbrush. Press B on the keyboard is the shortcut for the paintbrush. The opacity 100%. Bit fierce. Let's try 60%. So I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard. Got black as the foreground color. We can now click down. I'm just going to go over this area here. And you can see the way we can take the sting out of that red round here. Always a good idea as well. If you press the backward slash key on the keyboard, press the backward slash, that shows you the quick mask and you can now see where you're working. So we're using a red mask to help us remove the red sting from the image. Okay, right, keep going. Around this area here as well would be pretty good. I'm just gonna do a very quick job with this. Uh, that's my excuse, just in case I make a few errors. So just coming down, let's just take it a little bit closer and pressing X on the keyboard. I've just noticed where I've gone over that area of white, so just removing that. Pressing X again to put black as a foreground color. Let's take the brush size up using the right hand square bracket, just round this part of our building over this area here. And that will do nicely. Pressing the backward slash key again. You can see the difference we've made. You can see the mask as well, that little gray area. Don't forget we were using 60%. Now that we've done this, we can go to file. We can go to save. We can come back to our original document. Just wait for it to update. There it is looking pretty good. I've created a vignette. Don't forget I use this layer between the vignette and where I use match color, which is just removing the color cast. There, that looks absolutely brilliant. Just what I was after. If we click on our vignette, perhaps I need to reduce the opacity here just a touch or two. That will do nicely. That is just the sort of image I had in mind. If we switch this on and off, you can see the difference that's made to the color, really giving some impact. We can close this down. We can save this image. If at any time you want to make adjustments, just come back over onto the smart object for our color boost. If you click on it, that is going to open the tab. It will remember the mask settings and everything else. So it really is a great way of working. You can make any adjustments you want to make. Just clicking save will update it on the main document. And there you are. So go on, give it a try. It's a great way of giving your images more impact using color. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, but until the next time it is, happy imaging and take care.